So I believe some of you are asking yourselves how to bring water to your city, or how to make a lake, or even a small pond. I guess you all looked at the landscaping tools we have and didn't see anything that might help you creating a water source, or anything else that screams, use me, I'll give you water. Well, say no more, because it is easier than you think. So let me show you how to do it. Let's go to the landscaping tool. Then let's go here, we have four tools and then we go to the fifth one. Uh, this is the <laughs> water source. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's not there. Let's choose the first one, shift terrain tool. Uh, brush size, of course, as you please. And brush strength, well, we need to have it at least 30, if not even lower. Go in the place where you want to, you know, dig the hole. Right click. Right click more if you want to go deeper, like that. Or you, you, you can choose actually even uh, the sea level over here. It's up to you what you want to do. Uh, I, I would prefer to go like this, let's say. Just go and choose one of the, the deep... The, 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 the heights from here by right clicking. And then do like that. Also with a level terrain tool. If, if you... Anyway, choose which one you, if you find it easier. Let, let's, let's say we, we like this one, okay? So right click over here with the level terrain tool, right? And then just create the, the shape you want to, of course. Round the, the edges a bit. And then here is a dig, okay? Now, the big question. Okay, and how we add a water tool? Go to the landscaping tool and use the fifth. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't hate me, please. No. What we do now is just wait, guys. We wait, we look at the sky, we see the clouds, and we wait to rain. And then we wait. And then we wait more. Come on. Let's, 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 let's see the rain, guys. Can we see the rain? It's raining! It's raining! It's raining there! I'll okay, and now we have to wait and as soon as we, you know, wait a quite a lot, I mean, you have to wait for like one month in the game and this hole will fill in with what? Oh my god, I'm so bad. Please forgive me, guys. No, that's not the way you do. <laughs> Don't hate me. Don't hate me, please. Well, I hope I, at least I put a, a very small smile on your face, okay? I'm gonna be very uh, clear now and uh, let's, let's make things, uh, you know, like straightforward. Um, so, this is how you make a river. I think this is... I think everyone already thought of it, right? I'm gonna use the level terrain tool uh, and then look... I mean, I have a sea here. You can also have a river or whatever. Just like in City Skylines 1, drag um the level terrain tool like that and then bam we have the river of course it will take some time until the uh, water will fill in the 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 ditch that or the, the canal you you dig right um there is one small problem you will have also to delete manually all the trees which is not that hard actually uh you have to know exactly what trees are you have there so we have pines we go click on pine, uh, multiple, brush, strength, like that, and then right click and we delete everything, okay? You know that probably already. If not, well, there is your tutorial. Wild green brush, and do the same, and look for the wild green brush. Bush, bush, sorry. Not brush, but uh, bush. Okay, there you go. This is the river, and of course you can uh, play with the uh, soft and terrain tool to make a nice edge and so on and so forth. So that's uh, your river. Uh, yes, the, the small river. Of course, you can make it wider, narrower, whatever, deeper, and so on. Now, what about a small pond? Let's say we want to have to have a small pond. Okay, like this. You want to have a small pond here because I don't know. You want to build a park around it. So be it. We do this one, and then from here, let's make a small canal and dig more like that and of course we wait for it to, to be uh, filled in by the rain uh, by the river <laughs> by the river of babylon 
And in the meantime, this will fill in. Let's imagine we want to make a, I don't know, a very big lake with a very nice and shape strange, strange shape. Okay, this is look, looks like guts, you know, something like that. And what we do, of course, it's brush size and then bam, like that, like that, like that. Let's delete more trees because we don't want to see trees in the water. Even though, I mean, it's, this is one of the ways you you can see the trees, in, you can have trees in the water, okay? Good. And then, two months later, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, and we wait, and we wait more, and more, and more. Okay, okay, okay. I know it takes quite a lot of time to fill in such a big lake. Of course, you can uh, do something extra. You can also, let's say, uh, make a secondary canal like this. And this will help you a lot uh, filling in all this uh, area. Now, let's have a quick look at the pond over here because this is how you do it. So we got this filled in. Great. What we do, we close the terrain we get this sand but of course if you go again over it it will disappear and guess what that's your little pond and yes the water will stay there and you can delete all the bushes you have there yes sir yes indeed now for instance here we will fill this in but it will not be at the same you know, uh, it will not be as deep as this one or this one. It will look a bit different and you probably will have these edges very high. And you don't like to see like that, of course, even if you're going to use, let's say, the softened terrain, terrain tool and so on. Yeah, it, it's going to look like a small beach or something like that, but you don't want that. Well, you have to lower the terrain a bit more, sorry, a, a bit more here that's that's how it how it works unfortunately so you can't do that much but if you for instance if we take this one from here okay or this is deeper yes this is deeper this one so right click on it and then let's drag it over here like so this one is even deeper let's drag this one okay let's do that and then let's go like that and then let's let's dig here now this will be deeper see see the difference it will look deeper if you wanna have this beautiful part this is how you, you, you do it sorry this is how you do it guys so if the lake is too deep it's like this and it gets darker inside there and if it's you know like shallow waters or so it will look like this is like uh, you know on a greek beautiful greek island or um, area and this is how it looks right so it's up to you how you want to do it but the level of water will not grow uh, you know higher than the water that you are using and in my case it's from the sea yeah in your case it might be from a river and then that's a different story well, I hope this one uh, helps. Oh, it didn't close it. Yes, sorry. Bam, we close it. Yes, there is a big difference. And this is not like in uh, um, City Sky Nice 1. The water will not overflow and you will not have to, you know, um, uh, be afraid that your all your roads will uh, be filled in with water. And yes, I know what will be your next question. Yes, the water will stay there. It will not drain out or something. It will stay there forever. Well, what can I say guys? Hope this uh, helped you. Hope you will enjoy this and find this uh, helpful. And if you did find it very helpful, please, you know, leave a like, comment, and subscribe because more tutorials and more tips and tricks will be shared with you and of course a city this guy nice to series 
Guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. I salute you.